Hello everybody and welcome back this morning um, to the craft room with Tanya. Now it's quite a cloudy morning this morning but I'm hoping it's going to brighten up a little bit as the day goes on. So I promised you I would make a little card from the Gummy Pan Wheelbarrow Die. And this is, where's mine? Here he is. Here he is. It's a little Gummy Pan Wheelbarrow. And it is, I think it's always easier if you see it. Well, it's hard to do it this way because it's back to front, if you know what I mean. But he goes on like that. And then the little wheel goes on like that. And that's him. So this is just a little cute setting. I've put a few flowers and a few pots. And I'm going to do exactly the same thing for you here, or as near as, um, to show you how to put that into a setting. Well, I'm, I'm quite sure most of you don't need to know. Um, you could jolly well work that out for yourselves. But we'll do it anyway. Now card base and card. I pre-cut mine and usually have them ready. Was that right? Perfect. There we go. Bear with me. Put that back. Right, let's get them going. We'll set those over there for the moment. No! We need to stack our wind barrows and what I'm going to do is is place this three. I'm, and this is tiny. Um, where's my glues? There's my glues. There's my inks. Right, with everything ready. Let's go um, and try and make this a not too lengthy video for you. There we go. That's all the little pieces out. Get rid of those. And I'm just going to stick quite simply one of these on top of the other. With the Zigway, the Zigway, the Zig two-way glue. <laughs> oh my goodness! There you go. Wouldn't be like me not to rechristen it, would it? Right, let's get that down. No, come on, come on, come on. There you go. Perfect. Perfect. And let's just get you lined up. No, that's him. We'll, we'll shade him in in a second. Um. There's not much to that really, so we'll get now let's get this cut. Where's my snips? Here they are. Okay, these are just stamping up paper snip scissors. And what I want to do is I want that base um in there. So I'm going to colour them as I go because it just makes it a bit more fun. Now I've a few Copic markers looked out here. Dark, lighter, medium, and light. Okay, simple as that. It you can use um, your distress oxide inks use whatever you want but um, those are the colors and I normally work from light to dark but in this instance because it's the center of the base of the wheelbarrow I'm going to work from light of the darker ones if you know what I mean to and then put on the darker darker one the darker darker one there perfect so there we go, that's that. Now, this bit is going to sit on top, but I don't need the base this time. There we go. And then just snip it. There. Perfect. And then this bit, just going to snip. It's so handy the way Gummy a Pan do that, do you know that? And there's even another little handle bit or a rim there that you can snip off and put on, but I'm not going to worry about that. Now, all I want to colour is this little bit here. So I'm going to go medium to medium dark on this one, I think. Let's see how that looks. Just hold it there. There we go. And then just a little bit of the darker shade. See that? There we go. And I'm going to just give it an outline there, just at the very base. That's it. Perfect. So that's going to be stuck on top of this one. Where's my Nuvo? Clear drying craft glue. So I just want this bit here this bit here and this bit here 
and we'll pop that on like so. That's not right. It's not over far enough, that's what's wrong. That's perfect now. There we go. Right, there he is. And finally, colour this little bit with the lighter colour. There we go. And then that one. I put those in the wrong order. That was clever. So this is going to give me a little shade. Like so. And then just, I'm going to go there. Just to give that a bit of blast as well. There we go, and we'll do it with the lighter of the two darks, just here. And along the base there. I think that's plenty. And let's get that down. And between the shading and the dimensions, sorry, the stacking of the, the little die it's going to give us a nice bit of um, dimension. There we go. Now that's our wooden base. So let's just, we'll pop that on there. We'll do the this little jobby while we're at it. What happened here? What's that? No idea. Right, well, we'll just colour over it. It's not the end of the world. So, um, and I need to borrow this, actually, because this sits like so. Like that. Right, so I want this handle here is going to be pretty dark. Um, you don't, this is going to be dark. This is going to be dark. And that's mostly... There we go. No. Let's see. We'll go over that again with a darker one. There we go. I think that's fine. Now I forgot about this bit. There, perfect. Right, I think that's I think that's that pretty much done. So I just want to clean this off because it's the devil's own to lift. I oh, I am so sorry about the squeaky noise. But the last thing you want to do is get that on your card base. Um, I must make myself one of those little laminated colouring in jobbies. Um, there we go. So that goes there. Do I need... No, I don't. I just need to stick a bit of glue. No, it's there. 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 Isn't that right? A wee bit down there. Right. Just make sure I place this correctly. There. That's it. I think that's it. Now push that down a bit on that. There we go. Get rid of the glue. And we'll just set that over there to dry. Right. Now I'm going to do my set of pots next because there's more stacking to be done here. So I want to get those out first. 
and then I want to cut this little man off the edge do you see and then this little one off like so and then I want to stack that on top of this one so I just need a little glue there and a little glue there and that's one dimension perfect gosh now the next one I want to cut out this little guy again exactly the same as the last one does take patience whoops a daisy there's a little bit I've missed there and this one there we go and then I want this rim left there and this little fellow removed like so and then I want this one taken off here because he's stacked inside the other one so the other one is further forward now there that's all I need and they can go in the recycling whoops a daisy so just a little bit here and glue a little bit there and then Where's my precision pen? That's it, it's coming out. So I just want to go around there and make sure I've got it. And that goes on, oops. That's perfect. There we go. No, it's not. Just, oh. Hooten tooten. It was closer than that the last time. Right, how's that? That's it. That's it. Just leave it alone, Tanya. That's it. Right. <laughs> sorry, so sorry for the squeaky noises. All right. <laughs> Excuse me. That's that one. No, so I've that to colour and I've the wheel to do. Right, I've started. I had a little one done, but that's the one behind. So, where is my little? This is a Windsor and Newton. It's a little titchy travel case paint set, and these are all metallic paints. So, what I'm going to do is take a little bit of the light, a little bit more dark. And then I'm going to go over this one because I don't like leaving them white underneath and then sometimes you see, you know, the edge of it. Or... Right, let's get, let's get spokes. No. Just, come on. No, I just want to add a little bit. Of dimension, that's a little bit, just a little bit darker in places as the spokes would be. No, I think that's all we need of that. So let's set those to the side to heat dries. Not sure I've got that right yet. Do you know that? <gasps> oh, so sorry. It scared the life out of me. It's the window cleaner. <laughs> he just hit the, the window with the sweeper doodler thing, and oh my giddy and he scared the living bejeepers out of me. <laughs> oh my goodness. Right. Heart attack avoided. Let's move on. Where's my. Gosh, he's got me all of a fluster now. Where is. Where is it? Oh, to pot. We'll just use this. I've, oh, there it is. My pokey till. Now we'll get that out. That's going to be my little flower. There's another one. There. Isn't that cute? It's called... This, these are all gummy pandas. This one's called um, flower bed. I do not know what this one's called. I'm sorry. But every single one of them is a gummy pan die, and I love them. 
just think was so cute. All right, so let's get these coloured. <laughs> I have some here that I'd left over that were in my I Love You Granny box. Um, so we'll colour these and then we'll do the pots and then we're ready to assemble the card. Right. Now, I have mowed lawn and rustic wilderness. Right, we'll do those first. Um, a little bit of both doesn't go amiss. And then I'm just going to give those a little spritz of water, just a very small amount. And this one I'm going to drag through it. Right, perfect. And then I'll let him dry a little bit. Um, I don't think I need the two, but we'll drag him through as well, just to be safe. No, that didn't work. Hmm. I think I have more glue on my finger than I have on the... Right, let's go back in. Just touch that in there. There. We'll come back to these, don't worry, I'm not leaving them like this. But we'll just let that first coat dry. And then we'll take a little bit of the mowed lawn first and add a bit more colour. And then I'm going to go in and add it to all our little flower leaves and petals. Just give them a little base coat, if you like. Just a little. This pretty jobby here, isn't it gorgeous? Oh, I got that over my flower. Oh no, not to worry. Right, that's that stem started, and then finally, these two. Now, we need to add a little colour to all of those. So we'll go in with a bit more of our rustic wilderness. I've got the hiccups. It's starting to get a bit peckish now. Getting ready for breakfast. There we go, that's that one. And just a little bit. All I'm doing is giving a little bit of shade um, where shade would be, if you know what I mean. Of course, you know what I mean. Self explanatory, isn't it? Where the sun doesn't hit. Or there's a little bit of. There we go, see? Pretty, pretty, pretty little jobbies. Now let's see if we can give a little bit more to these. That's better, there we go. A bit more there actually. We can always use the Copic markers as well. Um, to give them a little no gosh I, I'm cop how do I get Copic marker over me and my nails oh I'm useless right there we go so I think that's everything with a little bit of lighter shade now I'm just going to use one of my Copic uh, YR16 markers to put in these little centres you could choose to do it if you wished with your um, distress inks, but this is just quicker. It's as simple as that. Now, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep these all white. I want them to look as if they're in a little flower bed, and but I'm not sure if I want to keep them all white or not. Now, the last one I want to colour in. I'll leave them white for the minute. I did the other ones a slight shade of blue and I regretted it, so I think I'm going to keep these all white. Now, tea dye, Distress Oxide tea dye, is a great colour 
for painting your, um, where's the other one? This is gathered twigs, so I just needed to hand, just a touch and no more of that. And brush. And we'll do our pots. Oops, that's a bit green. That's better. Now we'll do our pots. So we just give these a coating of the tea dye ink first. I need, I need a bit more of that actually. I do love distress oxide inks. I think this they just give you so much value. No, let's see. So what I'm going to do is add in a little bit of this brown to shape. No, I'm going to need more of it too. I want to get a bit of shading. There we go, that's better. Finally, a little bit in there. There. Perfect. That's that done. I don't think we need any more of it. So we'll get rid... Oops, a daisy. We'll get rid of all of that. And we'll start gluing these down. Now, let's see. Okay, zig two-way glue is the best one for this little fellow. Otherwise, he's just too fine. So let's get him down. Oh, for goodness sakes, have I not said that properly? There, that's better. That's better. There it is. Perfect. Leave that there. What's next? What's next? What's next? All right. Give me two ticks. I'm just going to stack these. Um, but I don't want to make you wait while I fitter about, so give me one or two seconds. Okay, and welcome back. Now I have my happy birthday sitting underneath a block stacked too deep um and just drying i hope yeah it looks good glue everywhere now what i want to do is i want to just determine oh i forgot about my wheel i have to put my wheel on right so just where's the glue pen i just want a little dot on the base there And then that goes there, like that. So we'll just let, oh, that's, oh no. Sometimes it takes that little glue pen a moment or two to, to dry. So let's, let's get our composition. I want the pots here. I want my little flower bed roughly about here. This is going to go in behind the pots like yeah. something, well, obviously not crooked, but goodness knows, something like that, right? And then we have this here. This is going to go at the side to give us a bit of height and structure. The little wheelbarrow, oh, and it's still not stuck. The little wheelbarrow I'm going to leave alone for the second, but he's going to sit there. I have more grass here if I want it in behind that, but I don't know if that's overkill or not. I have this little thing that was left over in there. I, I love your granny box. And that's just going to give me a little bit more depth to the bed. And then I have these little chaps that are going to come in and out of it. I don't want them too tall. So that one will go sort of there. Do you see now where I like them all white? And this one 
we'll go in maybe there we'll see like that yeah that's pretty isn't it is it a bit too much do you think we can maybe do without that one yeah I think that's better it's not so much of a plaster there we go something like that so that's the general gist of it so what I want to do is I want to put in a little bit of grass and this is just a tiny little grass um, stamping up grass dye so let's see we we'll want a bit there and there a little bit there and there and then we we'll want some generally in the background now better to have too much than too little no not really that's not true right let's get this one and all I'm doing here is lifting these a little bit with a darker colour. Do you see? There. Perfect. Now, we can always add more later, but let's see if that's enough. So I'm going to start with this. Do you know, I don't want all of it, but what I might do is just slice that there. What do we think of that? And then if we pop that down, we need a little bit of glue. Right, we'll get those down first. Okay. Him down there. Oops. Just put a little bit more on that one with this one. And then bring that like that, I think. That's better. Right. Just watch this. I don't want to get glue over the card. Now, they're going to sit like that. So I need a little bit of foam tape at the edge of this one and this one. Right, let's see. We'll get our five mil sticks to anything. Uh, I, where, where is this? Yeah, it's going this way. Right. Where's my scissors? There they are. And we'll just take a little snip and put it in there like that. Is that right? Yeah, that's it. So that goes there. Like that. Put that in the bin. And this one goes... this side like that and like there perfect now let's get the tape off then come on there and a little bit of Nuvo, where's the Nuvo got to? There it is, right. That's us. Perfect. And we'll just pop that down. Like that. There we go. Spot on. Perfect. They look fab. Yeah, I'm pleased with that. Now, these, yeah, so we want him in the background and these are going to go here. Right, so he's going to sit down. I need a little bit of foam tape on him. Use the wider stuff for him. It still isn't back in stock with Craft Stash. Um, I have been watching. Right, that's that done. And then a little bit of zinc glue there, along there. Like so. And let's get him down. Now he's going to sit there. Isn't he gorgeous? Such a cute little 
thing. Right, now let's get you in. You're going to go there. Right, so that's the last bit to go down. Now what I want to do is I want to give these flowers a titchy tiny bit of dimension very quickly. Right, where's my smallest one? There's my smallest one. And I just want to give them a little push down. Like so. Just to make them spring forward a little bit. Make them look a little bit prettier. No, I'm not going to do the rest of them because it's just, there's no need. Right, so he's going to go sort of there. Right, let's get him down. Oops, a daisy. That was a bit, a bit brash, wasn't it? No, let's see. I don't want him eclipsing the wheel. Maybe a little bit. Yeah, maybe just a tad. That's a herb. That's actually a gummy a pan herb. But it works very, very well at the back of a bed for that sort of leafy effect. Now I'm just putting a little dot of glue on these. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> just hold them in place. And they'll go like this. Stick those down like that. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, our other two little jobbies. It's cute, isn't it? No, up you come. There we go. No, I want this one going this way. Off you come. Perfect. And I want this one coming over this way. I think like that. That's it. And then you are going to go perfect right we've got it we've got it right now i'm just putting a ditchy tiny little bit of glue behind each of these and then a bit along the bottom right there's a bit needs to go there okay let's get that stuck down okay are we ready come on great so cute right now all I want to do is sort of stick the centers of these down and bring the leaves back up again into the shape that was there perfect now the only other thing that's left for me to do on this is add a little bit of shade and I do that very very simply with a bit of lost shadow and pop that down there paintbrush And then round the pots, we need a bit more. And that's it. Beautiful. Actually, <coughs> I think we need a tad more in. That's better. Better, better. That's much better. There we go. <coughs> Forgive me, I need to get a little drink. Um, 
There we go. That's that. That's our little real barrel card. All we have to do now is put down our happy birthday. And that'll go there like so. And then we'll pop that on there. That's the wrong one. Pop that on there like that. And we have a very, very pretty happy birthday card. Now I'd be chuffed to get that, wouldn't you? Absolutely, it's a sweetie. So I'll pop this up um, shortly. Although yesterday's took an age to go on. For some reason it kept... It kept um, turning itself off. I don't know why. I don't know what I was doing wrong, but it took an age. So there we go. I do hope you've enjoyed it. <coughs> I'm off to get a drink of honey and lemon. A little bit something on that. There, that's better. I'll get this all stuck down and photographed. There we go. Thank you so much for watching. I do hope you have a lovely, lovely day wherever you are. Remember, we've been making the draw for this little die. Um, hopefully tomorrow or today, whatever day it is, I have no idea. Um, we'll be making the draw on Thursday, if that's today. And then um, we will be putting it up on Friday, if all goes according to plan. Okay, there we go. Thank you again. Um, I hope you have a lovely day and take care wherever you are. And if you enjoyed the video and like the card, please remember to give me the thumbs up if that's not too much trouble. I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you very much. Take care. Bye-bye.